Hey church, today we're going to be looking at Psalm 65. And this is a Psalm of David that's an absolute Psalm of praise. He's acknowledging God's awesome deeds and how good God is. And I love this Psalm because the same God that David writes about is the same God that we worship today. The things David praises him for, we can praise him for today. So let me read this Psalm of praise to us today. It says, Praise awaits you, O God in Zion. To you our vows will be fulfilled. O you who hear prayer, our God hears our prayer. To you all people will come. When we were overwhelmed by sins, you forgave our transgressions. Blessed are those you choose and bring near to live in your courts. We are filled with the good things of your house, of your holy temple. You answer us with awesome deeds of righteousness. O God, our Saviour, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the Father's seas, who form the mountains by your power, having armed yourself with strength, who stilled the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves and the turmoil of the nations. And the psalm goes on to talk about how God provides, how God cares, how God gives in abundance. And I love this. David is praising God that he saves him. He forgives him. He gives him a second chance and he provides all good things. Our God is truly magnificent and awesome. He is such a great God. And as David says, he's also a personal God because he forgives us. He notices us. He welcomes us. He chooses us. There is so much that we can praise our God for today. And I want to ask you, what can you praise God for today? What is it that you're thankful for? As David shouts these praises here, what is it you would praise him for today? If you were going to shout out a psalm of praise, would it be to praise him for his provision? For maybe the family, the home that you have? Would it be the work that you have? Would it be the abundance of good gifts of money that we are so fortunate to live here in Adelaide? Would it be that you want to praise him for his forgiveness, that he sees you and notices you and welcomes you into his family? What is it you want to praise God for today? And I want to encourage you as you engage with this psalm just to jump on the comments uh, today and actually share on these comments. What is it? Maybe Facebook, Insta, put on the comments today. I praise God for whatever it is. We want to hear today from church. What is it that we are praising our God for? So chuck it in the comments today and we can praise him corporately as Chloe. Let me pray for us today. Oh God, we praise you. We praise you as individuals, but also as Clovey family, we praise you because you are good, because you are faithful, because you are wonderful, because you are loving, because you are present. Praise you for all the good things you have given us. Praise you for our church. Lord, I praise you for our homes, for the fact that we have families and loved ones for our health, Lord. And I praise you for your forgiveness that you accept and welcome us into your family. You give us second chances. You give us a clean slate. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your faithfulness. We bless you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Make sure you jump on the comment section today and say what it is you're praising God for so together we can praise our King. Bless you and have a great day.